Hey everyone, welcome back to Tan's Top 10 channel. Today's video, we are counting down my top 10 Disney animated movies of all time. I'm sorry I haven't been real active on the channel lately. My fiance and I are less than a month away from our wedding, so I've been really busy with that. I'm also in a couple different weddings this, uh, this fall, late summer, so I've had a lot of bachelor parties and just a lot of planning the wedding, so I've been pretty busy, pretty busy this summer, so... I'm really sorry about the lack of content, but sometime soon, after all these weddings are done, I would love to make a top 100, maybe top 50, personal favorite movies of all time video because I recently rewatched my top 10 favorite or favorite movies of all time video, and I was not too happy with it. Uh, I've had a lot of changes with that list, so I think a top 50, top 100 would really show my personal taste in movies and. Just think it would be a really awesome video to make. But anyways, today's video is my top 10 favorite animated Disney movies of all time. I'm a huge fan of Disney animation. I used to watch these movies all the time with my brother when we were younger. Just any day, pop in a Disney movie. We'd watch multiple uh, Disney movies a day. So I have a big relationship, huge history with uh, Disney movies. So I have a shit ton of honorable mentions. So let's just get started right away. So I definitely have a different taste in Disney movies compared to a lot of people. Uh, majority of the popular movies that people would have in their top 10 list, I do not have. So a lot of the classics you might not see in here. But you know what? That's what makes it unique. And I, there's so many goddamn good Disney movies, it's kind of hard to make a top 10. So my honorable mentions are... Sword in the Stone, I love that movie. Um, it's been a while since I've seen it, but I love the duel between the uh, Merlin and uh, the witch. I can't remember her name. Sleeping Beauty is probably my favorite classic Disney princess movie from like the golden age of Disney. Um, Black Cauldron, which is probably the most underrated Disney movie or darkest Disney move, animated movie on their uh, history. I actually just recently purchased the Blu-ray, waiting for it to get shipped, but I absolutely love that movie. I watched it so much as a kid. Beauty and the Beast, a lot of people would have that in their top tens, maybe even like top three. I really like it. It's never been one of my personal favorites, though. Aladdin, it was so hard to leave Aladdin off this list. That's my, my top ten. Honestly, Aladdin could sneak in there any day if I watch it. It might sneak in there, but... As of today, it is in my honorable mentions. Zootopia, Tangled, and Raya and the Last Dragon are all three great recent Disney movies that I absolutely love. And they barely, barely, barely missed being in the top ten. So, And my last honorable mention that was this close to making it, it was fighting between my number ten to make it onto the list. Tarzan. I absolutely adore Tarzan. I think it has great animation, great emotion, and a great soundtrack with Phil Collins. God damn it. It's a great soundtrack. But Tarzan kicks ass, and i got to rewatch it pretty soon. Coming in at number 10 is Hercules. Hercules is just so much damn fun. I absolutely love Greek mythology, so digging into Zeus, Hades, Hercules, all these Greek gods is awesome. Um... Super funny movie. It's got a lot of lighthearted moments. Uh, pretty great soundtrack as well. I love uh, Meg's song. I, ah, damn it, I forgot the name of it. But Meg's song, it's awesome. Um, I love uh, Philip. Phil? Yeah, Phil. He's a great uh, comedic uh, character played by Danny DeVito. But Hercules, I definitely have to rewatch this uh, pretty soon. Hades is an awesome villain as well. But Hercules, I this was one of the few Disney movies that we didn't own on VHS as a kid. My cousin actually owned it. So anytime I went over to his house, I would always watch it because I was jealous that he had it, and I didn't. But Hercules, uh, definitely one of my favorites. Coming in at number nine is probably the funniest Disney movie of all time, Emperor's New Groove. I have always loved this movie ever since I saw it the first time back in, like, would this come out, early 2000s, I think? Um, Kronk has always been one of my favorite Disney characters. He is so damn funny. So, so enjoyable to just see him kind of goof around. He's so funny, but so likable. Yzma is such a damn funny and 
just entertaining villain. And then uh, I really like the relationship between Emperor Cusco and Pacha. I think that's his name, played by John Goodman. Really good voice cast as well. And I just love the, the adventure of this movie. It's a lot of fun and probably Disney's funniest movie. So Emperor's New Groove coming in at number nine. Coming in at number eight is The Fox and the Hound. I actually rewatched this a couple years ago with my fiance, and I forgot how dark this movie is. It opens up with Todd's mom getting killed by the hunter. It's a little messed up, but the relationship between Todd and Copper is just really endearing. Um, I really enjoy this movie. It's really, it's really sad, especially the scene where uh, the the lady has to drop Todd off in the woods and just the music that plays there, the song, it's just always broken my heart ever since, even since when I was like a kid, I was like, damn, I'm going to cry. Um, but really, really good movie. Um, and I love the bear attack scene at the end. That, that bear always scared the shit out of me as a kid with his red eyes. Whew, terrifying. But Fox and the Hound, really great movie. And yeah, coming in at number seven is... Mulan. Mulan is one of my favorite Disney characters of all time. She's so damn badass. This movie is great. I haven't even watched the remake yet because I don't even think it would hold up compared to this. Uh, Eddie Murphy is Mushu, is great uh, comedic character. And um, the music in this has, Mulan definitely has one of the best uh, soundtracks out of any Disney movie. It actually has my favorite Disney song of all time in I'll Make a Man Out of You. Love that song. It's a great workout song. Excuse me. But the action scenes in this movie are great. The scene where the the enemy army is charging down the hill with the, and then the avalanche. That all looks so damn good. Great animation there. But it's also just a great story as well. Mulan kicks ass and kind of want to rewatch it right now. Coming in at number six is probably tied with Emperor's New Groove for the funniest Disney movie of all time. And that's Lilo and Stitch. I absolutely adore this movie. Not enough people talk about this movie. Um, I absolutely love the Hawaii setting of this movie. It just makes it so comforting and relaxing and just so peaceful. And then Stitch as a character, just one of the best Disney characters of all time. He's so awesome. I remember watching this movie a shit ton as a kid. Another great Disney soundtrack. You got a lot of Elvis songs in here as well. Great animation. And just a really great story of basically kind of like E.T., but I think better than E.T. I said it. I think Lilo and Stitch is better than E.T. Um, a lot of great characters, a lot of funny moments, but a lot of sweet, heartwarming moments as well between the sisters and just like their definition of family. It's a really great movie, and I would definitely uh, love to show my kids this one day. So Lilo and Stitch, definitely underrated. Coming in at number five is Moana. And I just realized my slipcover has a sticker on it. It's all fucked up. I don't like that. But anyways, Moana is easily my favorite uh, recent Disney movie. I absolutely love this. I actually didn't see this movie in theaters. My uh, I bought this at Best Buy. Just randomly, I saw it sitting there, and I'm like, I'll buy that. Didn't really have that many expectations for it, and my fiance and I absolutely love this movie. We watch it all the time. It's one of our favorite Disney movies to watch together, but probably also has, excuse me, my favorite uh, animation in any Disney movie. I absolutely love the water uh, graphics in this, and just so colorful. Such a colorful world. A lot of great world building in this movie as well. Great characters between Maui and Moana. Moana's probably my favorite Disney princess of all time. She's so badass. And, uh, yeah, great soundtrack as well. So many damn great songs in this. Uh, sometimes my fiance and I will be just riding in the car, and we'll pop on the soundtrack and listen to it. She loves the song Shiny, with the big crab guy sings. She loves that song. A little weird, but, I don't know. It's a great movie, Moana. I really hope we get a sequel to this because they uh, really made a great world uh, in this movie. So I would love to see more out of Moana. So coming in at number five. All right. So my next three movies are probably not movies that you would see on people's top 10 Disney movies of all time. But these next three movies have such a deep connection with me. I used to watch them all the time when I was younger. 
So anyways, coming in at number four is The Great Mouse Detective. One of the most underrated, unseen Disney movies of all time. It's basically like a Sherlock's Home version of, uh, or Disney's take on Sherlock Holmes. Um, I absolutely love this movie. I watched it so many times as a kid. I think uh, Basil is an awesome character. He's so interesting, just how witty he is and creative he is. Um, Radigan is one of my favorite Disney villains of all time. So underrated. He's so scary, especially at the end when he like goes full rat and he's like climbing through the clock tower. Scared the shit out of me as a kid. It's got a great third act. Um, really builds uh, the suspense and tension. But just the mystery, all these characters, I absolutely love this movie. So great, and goddamn, I, I gotta rewatch this soon because it's been a hot minute. But I know for a fact this holds up. A lot of scary, mo uh, scary moments in this too, which kind of got me as a kid. But now growing up, I'm like, damn, this is a little darker, and I love it. So, number four, Great Mouse Detective. Please check this out if you're not. It still holds up. Coming in at number three is the Disney movie that scared the shit out of me the most as a kid. That's The Jungle Book. A couple reasons this movie always terrified me as a kid. First off, you had the THX logo at the beginning of the movie where it'd go like... Like the audio thing at the beginning. If you, were the v if you had the VHS of this movie, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It scared the shit out of me as a kid. Anyways... The soundtrack also scared the shit out of me. All the jazz music just... If you put me down in a basement and like like a dark basement or a dark room and play that music, I'd get terrified. I, this, is, this is really weird takes, I know, but trust me, it scared the shit out of me as a kid. And Shere Khan, the tiger, scared the fuck out of me as a kid. I mean, it's a tiger that wants to kill little kids. How does that not scare you? That is a, definitely the scariest Disney villain of all time. And not a lot of people talk about it, but... It's terrifying. This movie fucked me up as a kid, but I absolutely love it. I watched it. I think I watched this like one or two years ago. I absolutely adored it still. Great music, despite what I said about the jazz music scaring the shit out of me. Uh, amazing characters. I absolutely love Baloo, Bagheera, Mowgli. They're all a lot of fun. King Louie, fuck yeah. Uh, Ka, kind of a little pedophile snake. I don't really like that. That guy can fuck off, but Shere Khan. Awesome villain, especially with that British accent, just super menacing. And all the vultures slash beetles at the end, those guys are kind of fucking knobs and they don't do a whole lot. But I don't know, Jungle Book, definitely a classic for me. I absolutely adore this movie and scared the shit out of me as a kid. I'm sorry, but I love it and it's terrifying. All right, down to the last two. And my, my top two could honestly flip flop. Any day of the week, if I watch one, it could slip into the first spot. I, it's it's such a tight race between these two. But as of right now, my number two is Robin Hood. This is easily the most underrated Disney movie of all time. No one ever talks about this movie, and it is a crime that this movie is now more recognized, damn it. Um, first of all, you have great, great voice acting and great characters I absolutely love Robin. He's got the sexiest voice out of any Disney character ever. You listen to that voice, god damn is that sexy voice. But you also got uh, Little John, played by the same guy who played Baloo. Great voice acting there. He's such a fun character. This movie is so damn fun. You got uh, Prince, uh, what the fuck's his name? I, Prince John, sorry. He's a pretty entertaining villain. He's not so menacing. I guess that's what the Sheriff of Nottingham is for. Um, but I absolutely love this movie. It's just so fun. Great soundtrack as well. You know, you got songs like Not in Nottingham, um, Uda Lali. I actually have a t-shirt upstairs. I should have worn it for this video. I'm sorry. That with Uda Lali on it. I absolutely adore this movie. I actually remember going to the library all the time as a kid to rent this on VHS. They probably should have just given me that VHS since I basically owned it. I would rent it so often. But, fuck, this movie is amazing. And another underrated part of this movie is the third act. The music in that third act is perfection. The soundtrack, the score, definitely has one of my favorite Disney scores. And I, have, I just love the animation of the, this time of Disney. Between this, Jungle Book, Sword in the Stone, these all had great animation. 
I just wish they made more Disney movies like this. Um, this is a classic for me, and damn it, it's so hard to keep this in number two and not put it at number one, but <sighs> Robin Hood, if you haven't watched this, stop what you're doing, which is watching this video, finish this video, sorry, then go and watch Robin Hood. It's a fucking classic, and if you haven't seen it, damn you. But coming in at number one, probably everyone's number one Disney movie, it's uh, Lion King. Um, I mean, this was the Disney movie I probably watched the most as a kid. I would sit there with my brother. We'd sit there in our diapers, our underwear, and just sit a foot away from the TV and watch this. Um, it's just a classic for me. We watch it all the time. It's probably got the best uh, soundtrack out of any Disney movie. The score by Hans Zimmer. God damn, is the score amazing. Um, did he win the Oscar for this? I can't remember. I think he won the Oscar for this, but it's definitely one of my favorite scores out of any movie of all time. Um, the visuals, holy shit, how can you talk about this movie and not talk about the visuals? You got the opening scene, incredible. The stampede scene, which is just, how did they make that? It's crazy. And then just everything in this movie, beautiful animation, perfect, so colorful. But you also have amazing characters. Timon and Pumbaa, fuck yeah, those guys are awesome. Scar, pretty menacing villain as well. He also scared the shit out of me as a kid. I mean, The Lion King, it's just the best. I don't know what else I can say about it that people haven't said. It's it's so epic on a scale that animated movies probably have never been before and since. I definitely don't think it should have been remade into live action. That movie can go jump off a cliff. But... Lion King, it's the best. It is sitting here as the king at number one on my Dis top 10 Disney anime movies of all time. Well guys, that's it for this video. Um, please share down below your top 10 favorite Disney animated movies of all time. We're staying strictly to animated movies. And also, we're not talking about uh, Pixar here. So that's a different video. So strictly Disney and strictly animated. Down below, share that. Uh, share your list down below. Uh, please like and share this video, comment below, like I said, and uh, yeah, um, probably won't have a video out sometime soon. I, if I can, if I have the time, I definitely will, but uh, like I said, I will try to make a top 50 slash maybe 100 movies of all time video. So anyways, I greatly appreciate you guys watching this, and uh, we'll see you next time.